Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping in today. My name is Shania and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna dye my hair. So I already did a test strand and it came out good. It, and also I did apply a semi-permanent of black a couple months back, but that's completely washed out. So now my hair is looking, the color is not giving, it's not giving anything but ashy. My goal is to get it sizzling copper. I have high color L'Oreal Technique. And then I have Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer in 30. If you have really, 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 really thick hair strands, then you can go for 40. But I was already nervous for 30. And I didn't want us to like waste my time and do 20. It doesn't even take. So boom, that's what we got. Mixing bowl. I got my tinting brush. Just dumping the whole entire bottle that first tube because I'm thinking each section I'm doing four sections is gonna need a bottle so if it doesn't that will be great but I have it just in case be over prepared rather than under prepared now we're gonna put the intensifier I'm just gonna mix this so I can gauge how much developer to put in it 2.5 fluid ounces but it's a one-to-one -one ratio developer so i already detangled my hair your scalp is radiating heat so that's why you start from here down to the ends here strong Get those ends. What I like to do is I like to comb through it because it has some slip in it. Make sure every hair strand is getting the color. And just want to remind you guys, just make sure you save some for the roots or you can just get another box. Y'all. <laughs> Not me crying. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes i'm gonna add another shower cap and t-shirt on top of it just so it can track the heat in and process um, after 20 minutes i'm gonna apply the rest of the color to the roots let that sit for 10 minutes and then it should be all done so i ended up using four boxes which i thought i would this is what i mean push it to the side make sure it's even of course i'm holding it up so it's trying to drop down and then put the developer over here and then you can kind of see how much it needs to be a one-to-one -one ratio. It's giving Auburn, you know, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I just want it to be lighter. So I'm going to start on this first front section. It's like my hair is not even taking the color, but it is. I'm just... Okay. 
going down. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes, then I'm gonna wash it out with shampoo, and then I'm gonna put this Ion Color Defense After Color Sealer. That just hydrates, seals cuticle, and adds shine. Then I'll do the silicone mix conditioner as a deep conditioner. Then I'll be back to show you guys the results. All right guys, so this is my hair after I did the coloring. So get into this color other lighting my hair is completely one color but for some reason when I'm in certain lighting it looks like it's still very much brown why lighting does this to me you see what I'm saying so I did henna like a year ago so I'm thinking that's why the ends did not take because the roots definitely did I did everything at the given time I think it's cute you know it, it complements my very warm skin tone but I don't like that it's not, you know, given the same color in all lighting. I mean everything to be on point in all lighting, not just in the sun, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And here's some pictures just to see it in different lighting.